I haven't done a palette bingo in quite a while. Is this fine? I think so. I do have hair, if you're curious. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a fun video. This is a palette bingo video and I haven't done those in a very long time. We are talking months here. I'm finally back to doing one and I'm really excited because today I'm going to play around with the Blush Tribe Pastel Tribe Limited Edition palette. I know Blush Tribe is no longer here among us but I really wanted to play with this one because I haven't since I bought it. And now I've dug my nail into the palette. Perfect. <laughs> this is how she is looking like. It is absolutely stunning, beautiful shades and the packaging is amazing as always. I chose four shadows and I have them on my eyes right now. They may give a hint on what shadows that I got from the palette, but if you want to see how I created the eye look and my thought process, basically, you should keep on watching this video because I really like the shades that I got from this and so far I really, really like this palette. I did have some difficulties with the shimmers, but you will see and what I learned in the video. And yeah, I will see you again in the end that I'm going to film right now. Well, if you want to see the eye look, please keep on watching. As I said in the intro of this video, where you saw my full face and my hair, maybe a little bit better than this, I'm going to do a Palette Bingo on the Blush Tribe Pastel Tribe palette. I know uh, Blush Tribe is not available anymore, but the fact that I haven't really that I haven't used this on my eyes tells me that I need to play. I need to use it. So Saturday afternoon, I don't want to be out anymore. I really just want to film and have some fun. So I thought it was a great way to introduce this palette. I have swatched one or two shades from this palette so far but that is it and I do know I love Blush Tribe's formula or the formula that they did. In my palette bingos I normally choose four eyeshadows from a palette and I go across so it's like one two three four and so on and in this palette there are 12 eyeshadows so I do have a base here that is quite pigmented so yeah that's just what I need to tell you before we're going to choose the eyeshadows. Number one which is a very beautiful shade I really like that shade actually it is a dusty rosy pink called Marcy this one right here that is the first shade next one is number four a green okay <laughs> and that is a shimmer so that is quite nice actually it is this one called Daniel which is like a greenish turquoise this one very beautiful kind of a mermaidy feel to this so far am I off I don't know maybe seven a bronze Okay, this one right here called Unica. Unica? 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 I don't know. Very, very beautiful. No idea how that is going to turn out. Um, but let's see. The last shade is. Oh. Number five, which is. The purple, that one, called Gale, which is very purple, purple fuchsia. Let's see what we can do with this color scheme. I'm very tempted to just put the colorful um, shadows on my eyelid and then on my lower lash line I could put the bronze because I really want to place it with some color. And that is also why I chose a black top <laughs> for this video, so I can do anything. Let's prime my eyes and I will be right back. I have primed my eyes. I do think you can see that. I am going to 
go with the first intention of mine, which was to put Marcy in the crease and Gail in the outer corner and then Danielle, this greenish uh, turquoise shade on my eyelid and then Onika, I don't know how to pronounce it, on my lower lash line and I will try to see if I can do it kind of intense so you can actually see the uh, shimmer in that and it's not just brown. Or maybe I can even put the pink underneath and then we can make it pop that way. I will make it work. <laughs> but yes, four colors right here. It reminds me a little bit of the Juvia's Place palette. What's it called? Deuce palette? Is it called that? At least the first two shades remind me of that palette. Seems like Marcy has a little bit of shimmer in it. Zoom you guys in as I use, usually do. So you can see something. Always creasing. That is such a pretty color. I really like how it goes on and that you can build it up. That is really nice. I'm very happy that I got these kind of colors because in my showing our stash series I have only gotten the more um, orange that one at, at least and I do think this orange as well so I'm very happy to be playing with some of the other colors but I'm really excited to play around with this more even though you can't get it anymore <laughs> uh, which is very unfortunately you can get so many pastel palettes now so you will be fine even though it's a shame Dust Tribe was amazing. I'm sure her new brand is as well. Let's take Gail, that one right there. The hot pink purpley shade. And let's put it in my outer corner and see how that behaves on top of Marcy. I'm not the best with matte purples because they always go patchy. Well, I. I think that is a common thing for a purple, that it goes patchy, but so far it's it's pretty nice. I'm trying not to blend and just pat it on. And then we can blend the edges afterwards with Marcy again. Here we go. We really like that. That's really nice. Take the brush with no excess colors so far and just in out here in the edges is it called that on the edges in the ed on the edges i think i think i'm doing okay so far there's some fallout but i always get fallout with my eyeshadow so i don't really mind that okay then we are going in with daniel which is this beautiful greenish turquoise shade and i'm going to use my finger i always do that and let's see how it behaves i do have a glitter glue but I really want to see how it behaves without it. If I actually need it. Or if I need a brush. That could be the case as well. It doesn't seem like it wants to go on top of the mat. At least not with my finger. So let's try a brush. Just using a flat one. I can blend it further into the lid. Nope. <laughs> Doesn't seem like it wants to cooperate. Let's try to take this brush and apply it on the other eye. Maybe it is going to be different. Okay, I don't like that. Okay. It does seem like this formula is a little bit different than the Hesina palettes, if you have those. I do really like this shadow, but it's so different from the others that I have tried from her. I have to work a little bit more with this shimmer than I that I'm used to. Let's try to blend it a little bit. I don't really mind, but it seems like I'm missing something here in the middle. Do you feel me? But I do like how it is looking though. Okay, let's clean up a little bit. I 
still think we lost a little bit of Marcy in the crease here. Not a lot, because then we are just going to blend it all out. And I don't want that. Pack on some of the green again. Do you think we lost some of that on this eye? I did set, try to send a message to um, the creator or whatever of Blush Tribe. I don't know what it's called in English. And she said the new formula of her new brand is going to be this formula. So... I need to play around with the shimmers more on my eyelid, so I'm excited to see how the bronze performs on the lower lash line. I'll do the rest of my face and then I will be right back to do the rest of the eye and finish off this video. I have done a semi full face. I haven't, I'm not wearing foundation. I put on some concealer because I just, I didn't feel like it to be honest. So I put on a bright lip and some of my face products and some concealer and eyebrows. And then I have applied this one to my lower lash line just because it is really awkward to do on camera. So hopefully this can be some kind of a base for the bronze on the lower lashes. And then I thought we could do some duochrome eyeliners on the top eye. So the green one in the beginning and then the pink as the wing or something like that and then we need some in our uh, inner corners and if i remember correct there is a none um i have thought about just putting the green in my inner corner and then just do this as a base like it is an illuminating concealer thing I also have my glitter glue here if we need that for the lower lash line because I really want the bronze to pop <laughs> now that this is very pink. We're just going to have fun and I thought why not do it on camera than just by myself. Very excited to see how this performs with a brush because we just saw the green uh, didn't want to apply it with a brush. So let's see. More bronzy than before but I just feel like that I have glitter fallout everywhere. It's, it's like a different formula than the green, more glittery, so maybe I should have put the glitter glue underneath. I do like it so far. Do you like it? Let's do some inner corner. Put a base. Because we just learned that these shimmers need a base. Glittery, shimmery, both of them. I have this brush that is already stained from green from another shadow, but it's, it's, it's clean um, because I just cleaned it. But yes, let's take the lid shade that I have on and pull it down into the inner corner where we just place that base. Look how intense that got, just because we had a more tacky base underneath than I have on the eyelid. That is so insane. So let's do the same thing over here. Look at that. Oh my god. Love that. Let's just try to apply the eyelid once more before we go in with eyeliner. Quite cool to see that I have used the same shadow and it kind of has two colors. I want to use a glitter glue uh, underneath the shimmers next time. To do my brow bone very quickly. So it's not that yellow. I have bronze glitter fallout on my top everywhere. doesn't behave very well right now. I guess it's just on the older side. That's okay. Because I'm going to declutter them by the end of the year anyway. The green went on really nicely, but this one... don't think it's very good anymore. Mascara. I'll apply that and I will be right back with some other hairdo. For sure. Then we can end this video because I really really like this look so far. Hope you guys do too.
that is everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really, really liked it. And I came to realize that I need to do them more often because I just really like them. And I like them so much. And I know you guys like them too as well when I do them. So let's see if I can even do that. But I just felt like doing one today and... I'm glad I did because this look is amazing. And I did take some pictures for Instagram so I could keep the look <laughs> for a little while. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And until my next one, please take care and subscribe down below if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.